welcome as we get set for a matchup between the Utah Jazz and the Los Angeles Clippers. Hello again, everyone, and thanks for joining us, along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. So as the game gets underway, what's the key to success for Utah here tonight? Mike, I've heard all about Lob City. It isn't about Lob City. It's about point guard city. When Chris Paul came to the Clippers, he turned them from a entertaining team into a big time championship level team. Why? Because he can probe the defense, he knows when to pass and when to shoot. This guy is an intense competitor that's the envy of every other team in this league. The Jazz coming off a tough loss in their previous game against the Lakers. Jeff, their perimeter defense at times was non-existent. They gave up way too many threes. One effort defense will not stand up over time. And that's what they gave in their last loss. They gave one effort defensively. So they did some good things, but then they stopped. It had to be multiple effort. It's got to be one thing to the next. And that is so important when you're guarding the three. And because they made just that one effort, they gave up open three-pointer after open three-pointer, and it cost them. For Chris Paul, he is desperate to get to a finals, desperate for a championship with his team, not able to get past the second round. What does he have to do to take them there, Jeff? Well, Chris Paul is a great player. Oftentimes, how far you advance in the playoffs is just as much about who you play with and who you play against as it is how you play individually. Chris Paul has nothing to be ashamed about. This is a team that could win it all. Let it. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Forced to make the pass. Paul the jumper. Misses the three. Tied up and has to pass. Tied up, has to make that pass. Hayward favors is trying to get down low. Hayward on the drive. Shut down, forced to make the pass. Nice ball movement. Griffin, the Clippers with their first three of the night. Got his feet ready for the catch and shoot. Exploded up and knocked it home. Hey, Jeff, one of the real surprises last year was the play of Rudy Gobert. This guy has a chance to be a real defensive force. I think he will win Defensive Player of the Year at some point in his career, Mike. I think his size, his length, his timing, and intensity in combination makes him an elite-level defender. And when he went in the lineup and Cantor got traded, it turned the tide for the Utah Jazz. I see them in the play. Utah's leading Los Angeles by a score of 10 to 5. Paul looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team. Lazy pass easily stolen by Hayward. Paul draws the double. Forced to make the pass. In the paint, J.J. Redick with a perfect pass. Oh, that's nice right there. Good layup. Good finish. Hayward on the drive. Gobert's looking for position in the paint. Knocks down the jumper for three. He's averaging 14 points per game this season. This man makes it look easy shooting the ball from deep. There's the double team. Tied up and has to pass. Jordan on the drive. You know, Jeff, most people recognize Jamal Crawford as a great scorer, but it takes a special talent to be able to be instant offense off the bench. Yeah, and I think... And he puts it down! A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Utah's leading Los Angeles by a score of 15 to 7. On the reverse! Nice finish around the rim. And they need a timeout here. It's called. 
The Jazz up by six. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Number 34, Paul Pierce. Subbing in. Double team closing in from the corner. A three pointer puts it in. He's averaging 14 points per game this season. Three ball, corner pocket. Tied up, has to make that pass. Drains the three on the catch and shoot from Paul Pierce. And here's another look at that three-pointer. Man, he got that one off quick. Jeff, because they haven't been in the playoffs, Gordon Hayward does not get the recognition. But this young man is something special. He is. Let's face it, Utah made a huge investment in Gordon Hayward. And it was really about what they saw in him potential-wise versus what he had already accomplished. They didn't make the playoffs, but he had a good year. And listen, when you're a small market team like Utah, you can't let good players just walk away for nothing. They signed him, they matched Charlotte's offer, and it was a really good move by Dennis Lynch. Gets the three. And Paul Pierce with six points here in the first. I like what I'm seeing here. Establishing the inside game. Throw it inside to the low post. Bring the double team and then play out of that double team by throwing the ball back out. Good open shot for the three-point. And here's the replay with another look at the three-pointer. Tusk's leading Los Angeles by a score of 21 to 15. Whistle blows for an eight second violation. Shut down, forced to make the pass. Tries the reverse layup. The Jazz with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. Buzzer sounds, that ends the first quarter.